me go ahead and bless your Friday with some good news. Dak is good. Everybody relax. What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Rome. Cowboys fan talk right back. Like I never left. What's good with y'all? Happy Friday. Hope y'all doing good. Hope y'all enjoying y'all long holiday weekend. As you can see, I'm back in the studio. I've seen a lot of y'all talking about me making content in the pool. I told y'all, I'm going to get y'all y'all content. Regardless of the fact, if you love my dedication and like how I get down, hit the subscribe button if you ain't already a member. If you want to join the team, it's that simple. Hit the sub button. Hit the like button. Let's get to the content. Let's talk about Dak Prescott. The I don't want to call it the hot button issue, but y'all know it's the great drought of 2024 where there's nothing to talk about. Ain't no NBA news. Ain't no NFL news. So what do you do? You talk about Dak Prescott and the Cowboys. That's, you know, the star will illuminate. That's why I wore this hat. Um, I also wore this shirt. Shout out to my brother DMV. Dope shirt. Here we go. The real MVP. But that's another story for another day. Dak Prescott and this walking boot and this foot sprain that has everybody up in the tizzy and all kinds of misinformation. I will admit this. The Cowboys are never forthcoming with injury information. And when it comes from the Cowboys, I don't believe it. But this is a direct quote from Dak Prescott, who was texted by Clarence Hill. Shout out to Clarence Hill or the Star Telegram. Um... Direct text to him, hey man, you good? And I'm paraphrasing here. I wasn't a part of the conversation. But this is out there. This is widely spread news. Dak Prescott, I am fine. He said that his foot swells up when he goes deep sea fishing. I don't know if it's pressure. I don't know what's going on. Like as far as like the pressure of being out in the ocean, the salt water or whatever. I know if you have any type of injuries or anything like that, the atmospheric change, your bones will ache. Your, your, your bruises will ache. Things will swell up. That's not a falsity. That's real. If anybody's had any injuries. So let's not act like he's hiding something. The boot, the boot, and it's a foot sprain. Then he would not have been wearing it in public. Wearing it. He would have. You think Dak Prescott does not know when he leaves the house, people got cameras out? Cameras out. The quarterback of America's team. The starting quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys is going to get pictured and filmed everywhere he goes, especially when he has on a sling or a boot or whatever. A cast, a ace bandage, a band-aid. They're going to talk about it. Dak come out with a band-aid on his face. It's going to be news. But when he comes out and says, I'm fine, this ain't no big deal, I believe it. And you know why else I believe it? Because if he was really hurt, because I know they've been digging. They didn't contact the hospitals. Trust me, people will get information. If he was really hurt, you think ESPN FS1 wouldn't be throwing a celebration? A Dak Prescott injury will carry you all the way to training camp. But no one has been able to report that he's seriously injured. That's why it's kind of fizzled out. They all talked about it. Every show talked about it. Dak Prescott wearing a boot is a big deal. And they all had to say, nah. And that's because, not because that's what they believe. It's because some people dug. Trust me, reporters dig. And they found out it's minor. It's a foot sprain. This is a precautionary measure. They want him to be good for camp. They don't want him to put no weight on it. Just like when a player has a little small injury after a game, he wears a boot for two days and then he's not in a boot no more. That's what's happening. So everybody, just relax. Let's talk about something good. Let, let me bring some joy to your Friday. Let's talk about Cam Newton. Before I get off into this um, commentary, because this is just good. This is good to hear. I know Cam Newton said something crazy back in December. He called Dak a game manager. And we all got mad. And I said back then, I got respect for Cam. I root for Cam. I supported Cam. But I disagreed with him. You can go find my tweets. Cowboys underscore fan talk. You can follow me over there, too. Um... I told him I disagreed with him then. That just because I support you and I agree with your points all the time don't mean that we agree all the time. How many of y'all support me and have been supporting me since 2020 since I started this channel? And there's times when you disagree with my takes or my opinions. Does that make you say, I'm done. I'm not following this dude no more. I'm, I'm unsubscribing. I mean, maybe it does. But an adult can have a disagreement and be like, I don't agree with that. I do agree with that. And that's how I feel about Cam right now. I feel like Cam was in this keeping it real. He's doing what most people don't want him to do. Most people don't like to do. 
Just keep it funky about Dak Prescott. Let me, it's the best way to do this always is just let you hear it. Ah! Three, two, one, reveal. Ah! Is that real? Mahomes. Ah! The same stat line as Patrick Mahomes. Uh -huh. Something is clicking in, yeah, in big games. It's working well. Because I'm looking at this list too. The top 10 goes as follows. Okay. Damn. It's only one of them that have a Super Bowl. It's only one guy that has a Super Bowl, and there's a lot of guys on here that doesn't have a lot of playoff success. Yeah. So if you're going to sit up here and judge Dak Prescott on playoff success, and I'm looking at a list of guys that don't even have no playoff experience or not even a playoff win. Come on, man. Come on. I would prefer Dak Prescott over Kirk Cousins. I prefer Dak over Kyler Murray. I prefer Dak over Jalen Hurts. Uh, Justin Herbert, Dak. Mm -hmm. Trevor Lawrence, I'm taking Dak. Dak, yeah. So it ain't that what I think Dak to be. It's what the market dictates yeah. Dak to be. And Dak is better than half of the guys on this list. Yeah. It's that simple. He just like, listen, man, you look at the stats. Look at them. They're comparable to Patrick Mahomes. Am I saying, or is he saying that Dak is Patrick Mahomes? No. Any self-respecting person knows that's not what he's saying. But he is saying if his stats are that good, if you even can compare him to Patrick Mahomes in any vein. He got to be good. And there's too many good teams in the NFL. It is not 90% bad and 10% good teams. The margin of error in the NFL is this. It's a game of inches. Like seriously, probably smaller than that. That means a lot of teams are better than you think. That's why every year there's a lot more teams that make the playoffs and a lot of teams that fall out the playoffs. Teams that you think is trash can turn around quickly because a lot of the NFL players are good. It's all about schemes, situational football, coaching, put people in the right place. So if you're able to dominate that many players that often, all this whole he plays easy schedules, Dak Prescott ain't playing 95% easy schedules. He's dominating some of your favorite defenders. The people in the league know. When that NFL top 100 list release and people start telling you about how good he is, you'll know again. But to hear Cam Newton keep it real and just start naming people, better than Kyler Murray, better than Jalen Hurts. I prefer Dak Prescott over Kirk Cousins. I prefer Dak over Kyler Murray. I prefer Dak over Jalen Hurts. Dak over Jalen Hurts. Dak over Jalen Hurts. Dak over Jalen Hurts. Uh, Justin Herbert, Dak. Mm -hmm. Trevor Lawrence, I'm taking Dak. Dak yeah. Better than Trevor Lawrence, better than Justin Herbert. It's just real. Kirk Cousins ain't even a discussion. You just got to let it go. The hate you have for Dak Prescott don't make sense because if any of those dudes I named had this type of dominating record, had those statistics, they would be celebrated for it. Instead, y'all want to hate on Dak because of it because y'all just don't like him or you don't like his team. That's all. Just say what it is. Say it. Write in the comments. I just don't like Dak. I don't care what his stats is. I don't care what his record is. But let's not act like if these other dudes had these statistics, had these records versus these other teams, that y'all wouldn't celebrate it. There is not a player, and I'll leave with this, Dak Prescott is the only player, the only player in the NFL that could do this. And you tell me if I'm wrong in the comments. You tell me if I'm wrong. I'm going to leave you with this. He's the only player I know that can lead the league in touchdowns. The NFL, the hardest league in the world, playing the hardest position in the world. Only person that can lead the league in touchdowns. Touchdown passes. Be runner-up at MVP. Right? Runner-up at MVP. Second team All-Pro. There's only two All-Pros at quarterback each year. And somehow people think he got it worse. Only player I know could do that. It's your boy, Mr. Roman. Y'all enjoy y'all Friday. Y'all do the mental gymnastics and trying to say, but it don't matter what his stats are. And then, 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 then.